Hey guys, in this video, you're gonna be learning how dairy products can be affecting your thyroid gland. Hey everybody, it's me Amir. So if you remember from some previous videos before, I was talking about how gluten affects your thyroid. If you missed that, just click right here. And if you recall, the gluten actually binds to your thyroid gland and it elicits something in your body called the antibody response, meaning gluten is a poison protein found in your body. Therefore, your body will create bodyguards, such as antibodies, to attack gluten. Cool, we got that out of the way. Now the question arises, how does dairy actually go, you know, fill in into this equation? It's quite simple, you see? Because if you're looking at your antibody, you'll see these shapes within the antibodies. They're patterns. And these patterns will match the gluten protein. But what's actually happening when you have a sick immune system? Something known as cross-reaction, right? Or molecular mimicry happens. That casein looks so similar to the gluten protein. As you can see, it's quite similar that your body really doesn't know the difference. And I want you to picture this. So if you're sick already and you have gut permeability or your body's over inflamed, your body doesn't have healthy glasses on. It doesn't, doesn't know what to look out for. So just imagine if you're, if you're a person who wears glasses, if you don't have them on, you're kind of like blind, right? So your body's kind of in a blind state and this blind state doesn't know the difference between casein or gluten. So your antibody, your gluten antibody, would therefore bind to casein once again eliciting an inflammatory response, therefore causing your thyroid gland once again to screw up. Maybe your T3 levels will go down or maybe your TSH levels will go up, who knows what will happen. So this is called cross-reaction. And I just gave you examples today just for dairy products. It affects with other types of foods such as sweet potatoes, eggs, even eggplants. There's a list you can find, I'll leave the link below. But this is something that's really important that not too much people talk about, it's called cross-reaction, so really, uh, you know, taking this information. With this information being said, it's quite simple. Cut out the gluten, cut out the dairy, and once you do, do those two things, we can actually go further and they're seeing if there's any other types of foods we can eliminate, like I mentioned before, eggs and eggplants or sweet potatoes, etc., etc. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video about how dairy can actually screw up your thyroid due to cross-reaction issues. For more videos like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, leave some comments, and catch me next week. Have a great week, guys.